Today I'm going to do the Would You Rather Tag Makeup Edition which was made by Kelly Gooch so if you want to see the answers to all the Would You Rather questions then keep on watching. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name's Bettina and I'm the makeup enthusiast. And if you're new around here, I hope you would consider subscribing down below. This tag was created by Kelly Gooch. I will leave all the questions and I will also leave Kelly's original video link down below. And if you have a YouTube channel, I tag you. And if you are a subscriber of mine, I hope you would jump down there and check out the questions and let me know your answers in the comments. So without further ado, let's jump on in and answer the would you rather tag. The first question is, would you rather have a bad base or would you rather have bad eye makeup? Now, this is really hard to think about. I think that I would say depends on how bad is bad because I generally feel like I have a bad base and because I have oily skin my base breaks down really quickly and it generally looks pretty patchy and like cracky and all that so maybe I would say I would rather have a bad base because I'm kind of used to it and I do really like playing with eyeshadow and I feel like my eyeshadow is something that doesn't really change throughout the day like I don't really have oily eyelids or anything like that so that's something that I could really kind of get on point but in terms of bad base I have oily skin so my oil my oils in my face generally break down a lot of makeup products anyway so I feel like it looks bad at the end of the day anyway so I would be gaining more by going with a good eye look. Question number two is would you rather wear a neutral eye for the rest of your life or a neutral lip? Now if you asked me this question a couple of years ago I probably would have said a neutral eye because I always and I, still to this day I do love the look of a pop of colour on the lips Lately though, I have been opting for the pop of colour on my eyes. And so the answer to this question could very well change at any point in the year or any year. But at the moment, at this point of time, I would rather have a neutral lip and go for a bright colourful eye because a lot of the times lately, that's what I've been going for. So generally it pairs better with a, with a neutral lip and having a bright colourful eye. Question number three is would you rather have the wrong foundation shade or no foundation at all? And I think hands down I would go with the wrong foundation shade. I most of the time have the wrong foundation shade anyway and I just make it work or I blend it out or I mix it with something else in my collection. So I would rather have the wrong foundation shade and make it work or even if it was like too dark I could use it as a contour or something like that. If it was too light I could just highlight the areas that I want or I could just use it as a concealer, different things like that. So I think that I could do more things with the wrong foundation shade than having no foundation at all. I also have quite a lot of like redness on my cheeks so I do enjoy wearing foundations just to kind of knock back that redness or com cover it completely. So. I that's another reason why I would go with the wrong foundation shade over not having a foundation at all. Question number four is would you rather give up primers or setting sprays now? <laughs> I'm going to give you guys a chance to guess what my answer to this question will be. If any of you have seen any of my monthly makeup hauls recently, you know hands down I am a setting spray fiend at the moment. So I would hands down give up primer if it meant I got to keep setting spray and a lot of the time if you get the right setting spray you can use it well it doesn't even have to be the right setting spray you can use setting spray as a primer as well you can even use it in between the layers of your makeup to make your makeup last even longer so I think setting spray for me would be more versatile than a primer I could also use my skincare as a primer as well so I think I would benefit more from a setting spray. Question number five is would you rather give up makeup for a year or not drink coffee for a year? Now at the moment I absolutely love a good coffee but I think if it push came to shove I would definitely give up the coffee if it meant I could do my makeup for a year. I have gone through stages before where I have like totally cut out coffee so it is definitely doable for me because I've done it before and I don't I think I would miss doing my makeup too much so I would definitely give up the coffee if it meant I could keep my makeup now question number six is would you rather have 60 seconds a day to do your daily makeup routine or have a full glam one hour 
transformation every time you do the makeup and I think I would go for the one hour full transformation. I really love the experience of doing my makeup. It generally, I generally allow at least an hour to do my makeup every single day anyway. So if it meant that I could sit down and drink my coffee that I just gave up, drink my tea and take the time and enjoy the experience of putting my makeup over that hour, then I would definitely opt for the hour over the 60 seconds. Question number seven is a tough one. Number seven is, would you rather use only mattes or only shimmers? I don't know what my answer for this would be because I love combining them and I don't know whether I would be able to choose one over the other. If shimmers meant that I could have satins as well as like duo chromes and foil shadows, I would definitely go shimmers because I think I could get away with using satins like in my crease and blending things out. I don't generally like all matte looks, so I think I would go for the shimmer. I love a good shimmer on the lid, so I think I would choose all shimmer and I do kind of like the way that my skin looks when I'm wearing a glowy makeup look I think it would just take more maintenance for me so I think I would still choose shimmer question number eight is would you rather not do your makeup for a year or never watch another YouTube video ever again um I don't know I don't know I think that I would choose to not watch YouTube I think oh my god I'm so addicted to YouTube but I feel like I could watch Netflix or Foxtel or Stan or normal TV instead I, th I think I would go with giving up YouTube maybe I only have to give makeup up for a year but I have to give up YouTube forever maybe there'd be like another platform that would come out <laughs> <laughs> that I could watch things on instead of YouTube. I don't know. I think, I think I would give up YouTube. Does that mean I could still create? Do I have to give up YouTube and creating YouTube? Okay, maybe I'd give up makeup for a year then. If, if giving up YouTube meant I couldn't still post on YouTube and I couldn't watch YouTube, then I think I would give up makeup instead for the year because I really enjoy creating videos as well as watching so if it meant that I had to give up creating videos if it meant I had to give up YouTube then I would go for the makeup option so I'll give up makeup for a year so I can keep YouTube but it's gonna be a long year <laughs> without makeup what could I possibly talk about on YouTube for a year without makeup gosh okay and the last question is one has to go highlighter blush or bronzer and I think that I would choose out of them I think I'm gonna choose bronzer now hear me out about this one I don't generally wear all that much bronzer even though a lot of people like to tell me that I should wear more bronzer I just feel like I don't enjoy the color of most bronzers so I struggle quite a lot to find a nice bronzer to suit my skin tone that doesn't like pull orange or too gray or anything like that on my skin tone as well as the fact that a lot of blushes you can kind of get away with using some blushes as a bronzer depending on the tone of them so I think I would give up bronzer if it meant I could keep highlighter and I think as well as well hear me out about this if I am able to have like a cream highlighter or a concealer I think I can use them to naturally emphasize the contours of my face so I think that I would give up bronzer if I meant that I can keep highlighter and um blush and I think highlighter for me I think that's a great way to keep like a youthful appearance as well as blush I think blush Blush is just fun and it's a it's a nice way to um, give your cheeks like that sun-kissed look about them and I think that you could definitely get away with using some um, blushes as a bronzer. And without a doubt, without a doubt on that question I would give up bronzer. Um, I don't think I would miss it either. <laughs> definitely wouldn't miss it so those are all nine answers to the questions in the would you rather makeup tag make sure you let me know down in the comments box what some of your answers to these questions are i would love to know them and if you enjoyed this video i hope you would give this video a big thumbs up if there are any particular tags that you would like to see me do let me know down in the comments box what they are and i will 
look at filming them at some point in the future. And also, if you're new around here and you enjoyed this video, I hope you would consider subscribing down below. That's it for this video, everyone. I hope you stick around to watch some more videos. There will be a few options at the end of this video. I hope you're having a fantastic day and I will see you over there in the next video. Goodbye.